Hello everyone. Today's video is on position of adverb. Now adverbs of manner, place and time are placed after the object of a transitive verb. Now what are transitive verbs? Transitive verbs require an object to complete its meaning. Like I met him yesterday. Met is the verb here and him is the object. Whom did I meet? I met him. So him is the object which is required to complete its meaning. Okay. And yesterday here is the adverb used. Adverb of time. An adverb of time is placed after the object of the transitive verb. Now what are intransitive verbs? Intransitive verbs are verbs which do not require an object to complete its meaning. So intransitive verb is here, is raining. And heavily is the adverb used, adverb of manner. So you see, adverb of manner is placed after the intransitive verb. Okay, now adverb of frequency. The adverb of frequency tells us how often an action is done. Like he always speaks the truth. Speaks is the verb here. So how often he speaks? Always. So always is the adverb of frequency and it is placed before the main verb that is speaks. Now adverb of frequency, if there are two verbs, like here, there is helping verb has and this is the main verb here, see. So, adverb of frequency is placed between the helping verb and the main verb, never. Never is the adverb of frequency placed between helping verb and the main verb. Now, another point is when an adverb modifies an adjective or another adverb, then that particular adverb is placed before the word it modifies. Now, the book is very interesting. Here you see the book. The book. What is interesting? The book. So, interesting book. So, interesting is the adjective here. Okay. And this uh, adverb very. So, very is the adverb here which modifies the adjective interesting. Now, in this sentence, she sings extremely well. Now you see, sings is the verb here, extremely is the adverb. And here you see, well also is adverb. So an adverb modifying another adverb is placed before the particular adverb it modifies. So if an adverb is placed in the beginning of a sentence, it modifies the sentence or it's also used for emphasis. Like you see, fortunately, it's the adverb used here, fortunately he was saved. So fortunately is used for emphasis and it's also modifying the entire sentence. Okay, now when there are two or more adverbs placed after a verb, then you have to follow this normal order that is MPT, manner, place, time. For example, Rina sang sweetly in the town hall last evening. Now, Rina sang, this is the verb here and sweetly here you see is manner. In what manner she sang? Sweetly. Where she sang? In the town hall. This is the place and when? That is the time, last evening. So, you see it's following the MPT order. Now, second example, he worked hard yesterday. So, worked here is the verb, hard is the manner and yesterday is the time. So, you see, you need to follow the MPT order. I hope you found this video interesting and thank you for watching.